And on a parting shot ahead of this important day on Sunday, what is your message to the international community when you look at what's happening in Ukraine, when you look at what's happening in the Middle East? You know better. What is your message to the world leaders about these two problems, including on the continent, Sudan? Yeah. Well, how must leaders behave? People are saying the current leadership around the globe don't care. Yeah, you know then how that becomes complicated. <laughs> And, and, and so we're out of my, my control and the scope of things. They, 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 I, I'm, I'm busy struggling to manage my situation here in a small Rwanda and then the neighboring countries, the globe is, is in turmoil. But I will have this to say. And the first message, I want it to go to my brothers and sisters on the African continent, before mm. I go global. We know for a fact, maybe some of these powers and so on, don't really care <laughs> about so many things about us. If you want to run yourself down, they will help you <laughs> to run yourself down. If you want to do anything, uh, so but why don't we take care of ourselves? What is so difficult? What is so hard? What don't we have? Just like the questions you are raising. If leaders met to whatever number and to address a shared problem, find the solution. Why should we fail? Or why should we even think about beyond us before we have even tried our own efforts to, to resolve this matter? Because there is nothing that is too complicated to understand. We know, we know most of these things. They are about us. They are about us. So the first message is to, before we worry about what is globally happening, which we should be worried about. We, we need to start here, at home. So, what is the excuse? Uh, then, for the rest of the world, the way I, I, I think and come to it, is the rest of the world has I mean, got used to, they do their thing, they do whatever they want to do in their own interest. For them, they come to Africa to just line us up and tell you do this, do that. And they say democracy, which we, and we start singing that as well, even without understanding the meaning. <laughs> because for them, when they say, you know, we want to bring you freedom, democracy, you must do this, you must do that, fine. It's a, it's a good sound bite. But why are you struggling also? You the ones giving us lessons. Why would you be struggling? Elsewhere other than Africa, like the cases you mentioned, whether you talked of Ukraine, you, you talk about there are many other things that will crop up in, outside of Africa, even if they affect Africa. When you see the problems uh, somewhere, some parts of the Middle East, when you have problems maybe in Asia, you have... Uh, so, maybe these are happening because those who give us lessons about these things are actually failing in their responsibilities. That's one. Or, they are also telling us lies about things they say, their nations are founded on, they are the leaders, they are the champions, they, uh, 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 and when they come to tell you to do what they want you to do, 
All they mean is just putting you in a position where you are answerable to them and where their interests are served, minus your own interests. They leave you naked. <laughs> your interests are not served, theirs are served, but with a good message. <laughs> you know? So, but if they have this good message and uh, values they so much talk about, why do they even uh, have their own problems uh, internally or among them? Well, you can even argue and say, yeah, yeah, but um, uh, democracy does not mean having no problems. Actually, managing democracy itself is a problem. True. But if managing my democracy is a problem, why do you want to be the one to address it? First of all, if you are talking about a democracy. Secondly, if you even have to struggle with your own, why don't you let me struggle with my own? And, and maybe that's going to be better than you trying to give direction to whatever I'm doing. They talk about freedoms, don't you? You, you are in, you know, in this business, you know that. But when you step out of even their own place, they really shut people's mouths if they don't want you to, because it is not in the line of their thinking. You'd have people who sing the songs they want to sing, but when it comes to real hard issues, you see places, racism, this, people being killed in broad daylight for who they are. Why should it be happening? Why don't you go and deal with that? If, 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 if your situation is so perfect, is as perfect as to dictate that you come, you know, you, you, you run around the world telling people what to do. Why don't you first also deal with your problems? I, I'm, I'm therefore saying there is a lot we can do. Before, there will always be, there is no country, continent that is an island that will work without others. Indeed, we inevitably and rightly so, we should have partnerships with the rest of the world. But you want to go into a partnership with other parts of the world before you even do the minimum on your side? before my country is put in uh, right and in a good order, then before our region comes together and the continent needs to come together, whether it is through the regional groupings or the continental level or the African Union, I don't see that happening. We meet there, we go, oh, we, we, everyone is for himself. <laughs> I mean, this does not serve us well. So how can we even talk about global issues uh, and, and make headway without making some headway on, on our particular issues um, that we know so well that affect us directly and we should and really have the capacity to deal with if we wanted, if we chose to do so.